the video cameras linked in my feed to the tour. And Can you explain the map up there if you jump in that? That's a good spot. Okay, so this is actually the floor plan of the imagery lab. And I don't think you guys can see the little radar spray. But basically what happens is you can actually, the radar spray tells you which direction you're moving in. And if you see it, it's going to be on track. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, um, you can either follow the hotspots to go to each different room, or you can just take the map and you can click on the room that you actually want to go to. So, you want to go to another room? Question. So then the hotspot spot you've got here is similar to when we're coding in, like, say, Dreamweaver, where we're highlighting spots and making a link and it goes to another area. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good. Yeah. So, for example, this is the monitoring lab, and if you if on pans around, you'll be able to see that we have we have CO2 sensors all over the building, and if you click on the hotspot link for the CO2 sensor, you can find out um, in real time how much CO2 is in that room. Uh, uh, the reason that's important is that uh, ambient value is about 400 parts per million, uh, fluctuates daily and seasonally, and if it's over six or 700 parts per million, your memory is impaired. So if you've ever been in a really stuffy room and you feel sort of listless and you can't remember anything, it's because of the memory. It's because of the CO2. It may be, may be a boring figure. Um, but the thing is that, uh, that we measured numbers of CO2. So at 600, the building activates and starts passively opening ventilation. If it's 800 hands go off, and I get an alert off my phone, right? If I have one lottery. Then it, it, at that point, it actually goes into a, a heavily ventilated thing to clear the room. Now, we measured numbers.